What's up guys? Your boy MDS Filmer here. And for this video, I'm very excited for talking about this movie. I'm going to be giving you my honest review on the movie The Revenant. I waited a very long time for this movie to come out. And ever since I first heard about this movie, I have been very anticipated to watch it. Love this movie. Plain and simple. Absolutely love it. I have fallen in love with this movie. Alejandro G. Inarritu. The same director who directed The Birdman. I haven't seen The Birdman yet. I'm going to get to that. I don't know why I, have, I haven't watched it yet, but I am going to get to that. But I gotta say, I am absolutely impressed with this movie. Even though this is one of his very first movies that I know of that has been noticed worldwide, it has done an, a fantastic job of just emerging me into this movie right off the bat first thing I love about this movie is the picture and just the area and locations that were shot in this movie gorgeous absolutely gorgeous the areas that they shot this movie in were insane also the music as well the music was just very dark very haunting very disturbing and it just went along with the movie so well and I just love I love the music that's one of the one things I love so much about this movie, the music. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this movie is the angle sweeping shots that it did. Like for the first five to ten minutes of the movie was just was just shot in one shot. For example, this one movie, like any other movie, you got this one scene that panels from one angle shot to the other angle shot in like one to two seconds. But in this movie it's very fluid, it's very it's continuous and it just gets even more intense. And that's not just for the dialogue, it's also for the action scenes as well. The act action scenes were like five to six minutes long with just one angle sweep. You would see people dying and then you're like, holy crap, there's a dude dying over there in the corner. I just find that really intriguing about the movie. Now I read on a website that the area and locations that they shot this movie at, they've only had, they only had about I'd say an hour or an hour or two hours to shoot at this one specific location and then after those one to two hours the the entire landscape would change completely just because of the weather. Now for the main reason why this movie was possible. Leonardo freaking DiCaprio. In my opinion this is probably one of the best movies he's ever done. Period. You see him as this character struggling to survive after this bear attack and in this ultimate survival mode. Also hunt, also at the same time hunting down this man that killed his son. Spoiler by the way. Also the movie would not be complete with the villain. Tom Hardy. His role in the movie was perfect. I loved his role in this movie. You see this man also struggling as well but he's also do, trying to survive in his own way but he's scared at the same time. I think that's how you say it. You can also compare the two, Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy. When you compare these two, you kind of get, you kind of agree why they're doing the things that they're doing, especially Tom Hardy, why he's doing the thing, the things that he's doing, but overall you still pity for both of them. And just the scenery throughout this entire movie was absolutely, absolutely realistic. I mean, yes, don't get me wrong, there are some slow parts in the movie, but it's just that anticipation for what's happening next that's just making you anxious. It also pulls you in and makes you feel like you're a part of this movie as well, which I really would not want to live like that. Speaking of living like that, if you compare it to today's life, how we live, we're like, holy crap, this was only a couple of hundred years ago. We are some spoiled brats. We are very fortunate and very lucky to live this lifestyle. And above everything else, this movie deserves a lot of awards. We already got the Golden Globe Awards. Uh, we got three awards, one for Best Director, one for Best Motion Picture, and one for Best Actor. Now all we need to complete this movie is the Oscars. They need to do something at the Oscars for this movie. Especially for you know who. If Leonardo DiCaprio does not get a freaking Oscar for this movie, 
I'm done. I'm done. My man Leonardo, he deserves an Oscar. He does. And just to prove why he deserves an Oscar, let's just take a recap to what the what happened to this man in this movie. First, you got this man who was attacked and mauled by a grizzly bear and nearly dies. You then see him a few minutes later and it looks like he just went through hell and back. And throughout most of the entire movie he can't walk, he has to crawl. Then you see him running away from these Indians by diving deep into this cold freezing water which is said to be like negative 40 or negative 50 degrees. After that you see him eating on actual buffalo liver. Like no. No, that was real buffalo meat. And then you see him escaping from these Indians a second time. After that, you see him stripping completely butt naked to take shelter in the ribcage of a dead horse. So you tell me. Tell me why this man does not deserve an Oscar. You got one of the best actors in the acting industry, and he's never won a single Oscar in his entire life. Yes. Yes, for those of you that were wondering, Leonardo DiCaprio is one of my favorite actors of all time. When you think about it, actually, you w really wonder why this man hasn't won an Oscar yet. I mean, why? Why hasn't he won an Oscar? And we also can't forget Tom Hardy. He is one of the m many reasons why this movie was so good. Overall, he should get the best supporting actor at the Oscars. So on a scale from 1 to 10, I rate this movie at a solid 10. Absolutely fantastic work. Absolutely fantastic job. I love it. I love it. And since this movie technically came out in 2015, I'm going to say that this movie is by far one of the best movies I've seen of 2015. And yes, I'm going there. I'm going to take this risk. It's by far one of the best movies I have ever seen in my entire life. So there you go, guys. That's my honest review on the movie. And I hope you guys have seen the movie. Uh, you guys have probably seen it already since I'm doing this review late. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe. Comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Virus.